What is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be reacting to a Cypher PK video about why Fortnite YouTubers quit. He kind of talks about a lot of things that makes content creators quit the game or makes content creators burn out in Fortnite that might like kind of be different from other games, but also just in general with a lot of YouTube in general, uh, like things in general. So if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like some more, and I'm going to give my thoughts on this, uh, being someone who, you know, makes Fortnite content and streams Fortnite like pretty much every day. Every few months, it seems like a massive Fortnite YouTuber just quits. Fresh just recently started a extended break. He hasn't uploaded in two months. This was a guy who was uploading. And this video is somewhat old. This is nine months ago. Uh, but a lot of it still stands. Like most of it's like pretty timeless. Daily Fortnite content for over two years and absolutely loved the game and was on top of the world. And now he's taking a big break. And I'm back from my first ever real vacation. I was gone for about a week and I was thinking a lot about this topic, why people just quit the game. And the reality is that Fresh isn't going to be the last YouTuber to take a break or completely quit and say goodbye to YouTube or Fortnite. Being a YouTuber is a dream job. So why do people think of quitting? Well, the answer is something I don't think a lot of Fortnite YouTubers or YouTubers really talk about. So today we're going to talk about it. And, I'm and he has, yeah, I'm break this down into five. So he has five main topics. We're going to watch the part. And then after each topic, I'll kind of pause it and talk about it. From my perspective, I feel like that kind of makes the most sense. Main topics. The first one being viewership. When you're doing really well and every video you're posting is breaking records and you're just getting insane viewership, it's easy to stay consistent and motivated. But there's always going to be times where your viewership is on the low and you're uploading video after. Bro, I didn't play this season. Apparently the shotgun just getting insane viewership. It's hold on easy to stay consistent and motivated, but there's always going to be. I didn't play this season, but apparently the shotgun was like the most annoying thing ever. Times where your viewership is on the low and you're like a better drum shot after video. That's not being well received. It's not being suggested. It's not getting the viewership you think it deserves. And that can be extremely demotivating. And if you're not built to withstand having a, you know, five, six video run where they're all just performing poorly or even longer, it can easily throw you off track and make you think about quitting. As a YouTuber, viewership is never consistent. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, and YouTube reminds you every single day Dang. how well you're doing in the game. This can Bro, definitely have an impact on. over- Cypher is a DMR god. Quitting. Look at as this. As a YouTuber, viewership is never consistent. Not as much this sometimes clip, but the other you're ones? Up, sometimes you're down. And YouTube reminds you every single day how well you're doing in the game. This can definitely have an impact over a long run, especially if you let it get to you. On top of that, viewership fluctuates a lot. Some months are great. Some months are not so great. And the reality is that as a Fortnite YouTuber, your viewership is directly correlated with the seasons and content updates and the thing specifically about fortnite is Bro, the, the builds look so different a lot of youtubers who that's chapter one on footage fortnite, they were just uploading gameplay videos just like fun squad games with the boys that was the meta back then it was very easy to upload very consistently as time went on things changed and the quality of content rose to different standards and even the out I think that is one thing a lot of people struggle with, like newer YouTubers, they see like, uh, like I know Ninja and Tifu both do this a lot with their videos where it's just like kind of gameplay ripped from the stream and it's not very much an original video. Like this video that Cypher is sitting down and making, it has like gameplay from the stream, but it's an original like concept and video, you know what I mean? Uh, but a lot of people see big YouTubers just kind of ripping stream gameplay and uploading it and then they try to emulate that and it doesn't work and it's just like that is not really that viable like it's just those people have insane audiences that want to see them you know pop off algorithm changed and does not allow you to just upload just random game but i agree like footage. at this point that in time it's very well. hard to get you noticed to adapt the reality though off is that. it's not impossible if you actually sit down and even and if you are someone who's huge like you're probably not gonna grow off that you're probably just going to like maintain or like get some views think of new ideas and concepts and video series that you're passionate about it will be rewarded and the viewership is still there there are still a few youtubers out there especially in the fortnite space who are thinking of new ideas and concepts and bringing it to life sometimes it's a miss but when it hits it's very rewarding and it's a very fulfilling feeling it is a challenge but it's a challenge worth chasing if you really care about this passion the next all right that doesn't really oh, hold on, topic me... that doesn't really affect me at all i feel like i'm in a weird spot where like 
my channel has kind of started to grow a lot more over the past year. So it's like, if a video doesn't do it that well, I just don't care. Like it, it's so much better than it was this time last year. So I feel like I'm not really at the point where I care that much about views. And I often like, I don't really look at views that much, to be honest. Like the main thing I look at, like YouTube, when you upload a video, you get like a ranking of the video. It'll be like a one out of 10. That's the best video of your past 10. The only thing I really look at is like the CTR, which is how many people are clicking on the thumbnail so that I know if like, okay, this thumbnail style works well. And then the average view duration, but like the actual views per video, I don't look at too much. And like he said, it is very reliant on factors that are completely outside of your control. Like right now we're two weeks away from the new Fortnite season. Views are naturally going to be down because at this point in the season, most kind of topics or things to make videos on or things to talk about have already been covered at this point in chapter four, season two. People don't care that much anymore because they're just looking forward to the new season. And so views are down, I feel like, for probably a lot of people. And it's just like, you can't control when Fortnite seasons end. That's just like a very natural kind of way things will go. Like when a new season drops, it'll be super exciting. And then over time, like interest in it will just decline over time until a new season comes out. And if you look at like the Google Trends graph for Fortnite, it looks very much like that. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really get impacted by views that much. This word gets tossed around a lot, but let me give you guys like a real perspective on burnout from, you know, a full-time YouTuber and streamer. In the YouTuber and streamer space, you're pretty much competing against your fellow YouTubers and streamers. The reality is, yes, a lot of us are friends and, you know, we play together, but it still is somewhat of a competition. You are trying to make the best content Bro, if seeing this chapter one footage makes me sad. Quality compared to other YouTubers and streamers, you will be on the decline and potentially fall off. There's very little room to actually sit back and the relax reality and, tree. and take time off because every time you do, there's like this feeling in your head that you are falling behind. And I had this for a very long time where I constantly felt like I wasn't streaming eight hours a day, uploading every single day that I was falling behind. And what ended up happening is I started to burn out and I started hating what I was doing and I would get angry very easily. I mean, I would rage pretty much every single Tell day on stream and my content was like less passionate. I didn't have the drive and the charisma and the creativity that I had before because I was burning out and not giving myself a chance to recharge. Most people think that- like, Dude, he's YouTuber, actually just cracked with the DMR. How was I unaware? Pretty much recording one video. Maybe it takes you about an hour. Maybe it takes you two hours. You send it over to your editor and then you're pretty much done. And the reality is maybe some people, you know, operate like that, but most YouTubers- I don't have an editor. Their entire day and life into the content creation process. And very quickly, you realize that every second of your day you can't stop thinking about your job, your your YouTube and your Twitch. Like most streamers and YouTubers, they don't clock out mentally when they end the stream or when they finish the video. That can easily cause you to burn out and just be over. I guess we'll pause here. So yeah, so this, that's very true. Like YouTube and Twitch and like playing Fortnite, it is a dream job, obviously, but also you are never not working. There's always something you could be doing, uh, especially if you're someone who does everything yourself. Like the only thing I don't do is my thumbnails. I have a thumbnail designer for that and he's great. But like for streamers that have editors, then it gets easier because you just like tell the editor to make the video. But if you get the gameplay yourself, record the video yourself, uh, get the ideas yourself and then edit it yourself, it is a lot of work. Like just this past week, um tuesday there was the update so i woke up made a video on the update uploaded it streamed ended up playing ranked with maddie i think that stream was like seven and a half or eight hours long got off of stream that day later than usual uh and then wrote the video i made about the katana versus the web shooter and then also wrote the video i made last friday about the ranked loadout i don't really script my videos that much but i usually have like bullet points i want to go over and by the time i was done with all that it was like about the time i went to sleep the day after that, I streamed and then made the Katana versus Web Shooter video, uploaded it. 30 minutes later, they vaulted the Katana. So I got on to get gameplay for a video without the Katana and then made a video about the Katana getting vault vaulted and then uploaded it Thursday morning, I think. And then Thursday, I streamed. Uh, it was a longer stream again because I was getting to Unreal in Zero Build. Ended up getting Unreal. I think it was about an eight-hour stream or seven-hour stream again. After that, ate something, made a video, and then it was time to go to sleep again. So, like, obviously, 
those are all like fun activities. Like usually I enjoy making videos. There are times like where it's not as exciting to make videos. That's usually towards the end of the season for me. Uh, where it's just not as exciting to make videos but there's just always something you can be doing whereas like I have had a normal job uh, when I was younger in a restaurant and like sure it was more hard work but like when you were done for the day you were done for the day you didn't think about it at all it's like very comparable to I would say like being a student where like if you are majoring in a like if your major is like somewhat difficult and you get a lot of homework you know that there's just like always something you could be doing whether it's like going to class studying uh trying to get ahead like there there's that's like one of my least favorite things as when I was in college I majored in engineering there was always something you could be doing there was always like none of the time was actually yours and that is somewhat similar with YouTube at times uh it is different from time to time obviously overwhelmed right now it's just been kind of crazy because there was like an update and then a surprise update and then ranked was also just dropped so it's like there's been a lot more like going on recently uh, I feel like times like that and then also the start of the seasons is more like uh, like more busy time when you're entire around one thing but I've realized you know through the years that it is important to figure out a way to disconnect and actually be able to step away and have your body and mind reset I think a big problem about burnout is a lot of youtubers don't even realize they're burning out before it's too late they think you know they're on the grind they're having fun they like what that is very true as well so like uh i have had this problem so i like i quit fortnite in chapter two season three i was pretty burnt out on the game and it's like one of those things where like if you work out too much you're sore the next day you can't work out whereas like burnout is something where you're just like constantly approaching it i feel like and then once you fall off that cliff you've fallen off that cliff and it's very hard to get back and you're just going to be more irritated with everything i think of all the things in the video this is the thing i've struggled with most not so recently but back in the day because i did not really take as much breaks from the game uh so like chapter two season one had a lot of delays chapter two season two also had a lot of delays and instead of like just not grinding as much because of those delays i just like still kept playing when the game wasn't as exciting uh and then when chapter two season three came out and wasn't like immediately what i wanted i was just like done uh and then i came back towards the end of chapter two but yeah i think if i had taken more breaks back then and it it's not like you know not streaming or not playing at all for a week it's just like kind of here and there like i usually don't stream on sundays that's usually the day i work on like several videos and i feel like that like helps a lot you're doing but you also like towards the end of the season i tried to like stream less not only is that like the least exciting time to play and watch the game but it's also just kind of like a natural good time to not really not take a whole week off like i said but maybe just skip like one birthday stream party, a little less you know, or play you, a little you less skip an invitation out with the boys you're not spending as much time i don't relate to this problem at all i don't go outside with your loved ones your family before you know it you've missed out on hundreds of different opportunities and events in your personal life without even realizing it and that's when things start to get real you really start to feel a little bit lonely you start to feel demotivated you might even start getting depressed because you're just your entire life becomes one thing you have no other aspects of your life and it this is another thing as well i don't know if he talks about in this in, this in the video but for a lot of of people like obviously gaming is your hobby right like if you're watching youtube videos about fortnite you probably enjoy playing fortnite and that's what you do for fun but when that becomes your job not only is it like a job at that point but it's also like you kind of like if your job is to play fortnite and then the thing that you use for fun to unwind is to also play fortnite i feel like you're also just like much more likely to uh burn out i feel like a very similar thing probably happens to like artists or musicians where like they probably love drawing and making art but like once that's their job they don't like de-stress from it as much you know what i mean or it's not as relaxing at that point in time creeped up on you without even realizing it and that's why we see a lot of these youtubers just suddenly turn off it's like some people play other games i don't really play other games and disappear and this really touches upon the personal life of a youtuber and that's our third section your per fortnite is life personal life bro look at nick 30. 
goes under attack when you become a full-time youtuber basically like their support systems is just non-existent they really don't have a lot of people to reach out to and talk to about the youtube space and the reality is like even talking to other youtubers we're all so busy we barely have time to communicate with each other it is very lonely when you're pursuing the stream or like continuing the stream yeah i don't have this problem as much i like being alone like i'm just like naturally like more introverted i feel a like youtuber because of the fact that it takes up so much of your day but more importantly it takes up so much of your mind you never really get to sit back and enjoy like usually streaming for the day is like enough like social interaction for me for the day your own personal time and space but the reality is the bigger you get the less of a personal life you actually get to have if you are experiencing some personal problems whether it's your family whether it's mental health related uh it's very hard as a youtuber to bring that to your audience you you really don't want to bring it to your audience you're providing your audience content and entertainment and an escape from reality and to a lot of people out there to millions of people you are a part of their daily routine you are comfort to them you are entertainment what to the them. heck is going on you there uplifting to them so when something happens with you personally as a youtuber you kind of close off and don't want to bring that into your content because you don't want to have a negative impact on the people. i think courage was complaining about the planes or the infinity blade here content, actually i think it was the smgs content because you i think he's complaining about the smgs right there don't want to have a negative I know that impact clip. on the people who are subscribed to you or follow you and because of that it, it creates even extra loneliness i mean imagine your whole day and life is spent on youtube and content creation but if something bad happens to you or if you're going through something you the last thing you want to do is is bring that to your audience and you really don't have many people to talk to because your own personal life is constantly being undermined by your career now look listen it's not impossible wait you can still have a this personal man got life. the kinetic can avoid burnout you can let viewership not get to you and there are some youtubers out there that are built like that and have the support systems but what about motivation that is the but yeah like i said i don't really have that problem as much i don't know like i don't really feel the need to talk to people about my problems fourth topic the thing about motivation is it's very tricky you are very motivated when you're starting off when you want to make it as a youtuber but one thing people don't realize is once you make it as a youtuber once you have millions of subs you're very successful, you're making a lot of money, the motivation switches up on you. Most people who get into this, they're not after the money. This is another thing that I just don't really relate to that much, I think. And 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 the subs, but the reality is they do want to be a successful content creator. So what happens when they become extremely successful? What keeps them going? A lot of YouTubers might end up kind of feeling demotivated once they achieve this dream and feel like what's next? What what's there? So to like an example of this that I've recently had is getting partnered on Twitch uh, like four or five months ago. Probably like four months ago. Uh, And a, there's a lot of streamers that like really grind for partner and they really want partner and then when they get it it's kind of like a hit to their motivation and they end up not streaming as much and that's just not something i really like thought about or cared about that much like i wanted to get partner sure but it like didn't really impact my motivation at all and it's like the same thing with youtube like i would like to hit 100k but i don't think that's going to change anything for me like i just like am way more goal oriented in the short term of like what video am i going to make this week or like what is like the next video i'm going to make going to be you know what i mean like i don't really think about like i'm uploading these videos to get to 100k or like i'm streaming to get twitch partner like it was always uh, like the other way around like those things kind of just happen i feel like do now if you're truly passionate about content creation and that's all you really cared about from the beginning you might be able to continue and and what does stink with motivation though is like when there's times where there like right now would be a good example of that where it's like harder to be motivated to make videos towards the end of the season because like i said not only is interest and excitement about the the game down because we're, you know we're approaching the new season but most of my videos are like informative or like tips driven you know what i mean and if i make a video about how to get like more wins this season like who cares because that video is going to be irrelevant in like a week or two and most people don't really care that much about the game at this point in the season. I feel like that's like kind of the time I struggle with motivation the most is like towards the end of Fortnite seasons. And that's why I kind of do things like this more towards the end of the season, like re reacting to different things or more like commentary uh, oriented videos. Be just fine. But what other YouTubers end up having to do 
uh, is actually think of unique ways to set up new goals and milestones to chase after. And I tell those people all the time. Yeah, that would be like, I don't really think about milestones that much. I'm just like more like motivated by what the next like task is. The chase is better than the destination. We are constantly thinking of new things to chase after, getting out of my comfort zone, doing different things. Holy. But those are the things that you kind of have to do to keep the motivation going and not allow the motivation to set in and throw you off track. Now, let's say you have all four of those under control and you're doing fine. Now it comes down to the final point, the final topic. And this one's the hardest one. And that's time. I mean, all right, Pete Greasy Grove. You could do this for a day, maybe a week, a month, a year. But what about five years or even longer? I mean, in the past five years- This man's years, trying to give me I mean, anxiety. I, I went from being single to married to having my own house. And I, I'm an adult now. I'm, I'm He's flexing on us, bro. I'm grown up. I feel like a completely different person than who I was five years ago when I started making Fortnite content. But Fortnite itself as well has changed tremendously in the past five years. So to be a Fortnite content creator that has existed from the very beginning to now, you have to still actually like the game of Fortnite because but the will looks be able weird to tell at this you point. Don't like the game you're making content on, and that will impact your channel negatively. It is a very new career path. And the reality is the lifespan of a content creator or a pro player or a streamer, it is much shorter than a traditional career path. We've seen it time and time again. It is not an easy thing to do for a very, very long time. And only a few people have actually done it for a very long time. I hope to be one of those people who's creating content for years to come. That's I mean, I've been video? doing this for since I was a child yeah, until end. now. I'm still extremely excited. I'm still trying to push the boundaries, create new and exciting content for you guys. And I'm happy to be here. I'm grateful to be here after all these years to still be in this position and to still be growing and, and doing cool and exciting things. And it's all possible because of you guys. And yeah, I mean, I mean, we had a pretty, pretty serious. But yeah, I, uh, I thought he was going to talk more about just like the time each thing takes there. But like, I kind of talked about that earlier in the video, just like this week, what I did this week, I probably had like less than three hours of time where i wasn't working working on something related to like youtube or twitch but um yeah i thought this is a pretty interesting video despite like i don't really struggle with some of these but like burnout i think is the biggest one because like personally i have dealt with that uh in chapter two and i feel like quitting the game when i did was like a huge mistake if i had like managed that better then i think i would have like continued enjoying the game throughout chapter two and that is something I tried to do better now. And that's also one of the reasons why I don't play comp. Like, I feel like with, like, the state of this game, it's incredibly unlikely that I would be able to, like, be motivated to play competitive and also not be frustrated with the state of the game because there's always kind of something wrong with, like, competitive or, like, the way Epic handles competitive. But that is going to be it for this video. I just thought it was an interesting video, especially with my perspective also being somebody who makes... Fortnite videos and like I talked about in this video we're nearing the end of the season and there isn't as much like relevant information to cover in Fortnite at the moment so if you guys did enjoy this remember to give it a like subscribe if you like some more and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching